Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I am bringing you guys episode number three of Pack Squads. And last episode, we ended off with a four game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to a fifth and sixth one this episode. We also advanced to Division 9, so we're starting fresh. We're going to see if our new players that we picked up last episode can score some goals and hopefully win us this next couple of games. But uh, right now, the offensive team of the year is out, and this is why pretty much I'm uploading so many episodes of Pack Squad, so I have a chance of pulling some of these team of the years while I can open up a lot of packs. And you guys know, if we can get that 5-game win streak, we can buy a special pack from the marketplace, so that's going to be pretty exciting if we can do that in the next game or so. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys the team that I've built since last episode, and we'll go ahead and start a game. So, first line, we've got Jaden Schwartz, Jason Spezza, and Braden Shen. On the second, we got Brock Nelson, Eric Fair, and Kyle Palmieri. On the third, Broussard, uh, I'm sorry, Smith, and Shane Doan. And on the fourth, we got Riley Smith, David Steckel, and David DeArnay. So, you can just tell right off the bat, our offense is looking really, really competitive in Division 9. Taking a look at our defense as well, Nicholas Cromwell, Jonas Brodeen, Peter Harold, Paul Martin, Andrew McDonald, and Zach Redman. And I decided to put in Redman and Harold back into the team, just because they have that right-handed shot. I felt like last episode I couldn't get the one-timer off as well, so putting in a couple of right-hander defenders will definitely help out this team for sure. Uh, no changes with the goaltender or head coach. We still have Dennis Jones, as well as Robert Mayer, as well as Ken Appleby in net. So we're still looking for some goalie upgrades in the next couple of packs, but we have to win our first game first. So let's get right into the first game. I'll meet you guys in there. All right, guys, first game of the episode. Let's take a look at who he has. He's got Sedin, both Sedins. And, oh, so, sorry, that's Mark Stone playing center. And I think he has Zuccarello on his right wing there. So let's get this game going. Let's try to get a win here. And uh, let's try to get some shots on net. There you go, to DRNA. Break in. Pass it back to Fair. Shoot it. Oh, off the post. Almost got one there. Pass it back down low to Nelson. Back to Fair. Back to the point. Rip one. Oh, Paul Martin missing the net just by a little bit. There we go, sauce it over to Shen. Back to Spezza. We can score that one. Come on, oh man. That was one of our best chances there. Go Spezza, go Spezza. Back to Shen. Careful, careful. All right, pass it back to Spezza. In front, Shen, oh, off the post. Oh man, I cannot get it by the defenders. The defense is just way too good, the computer defense. But uh, let's bring up the puck, up to Spezza, go. Three seconds, two, one, snipe. Oh man, couldn't get that last second goal, but Jonathan Quick standing tall. But man, the, the defense is really good at covering those uh, cross creasers. I gotta just get some more shots in that and just try to get like a dirty rebound goal in right now. But I feel like we're dominating 11 to 4 in shots, almost 10 minutes time on attack to 1 minute. So uh, we've been keeping up the pressure, we just gotta score one. There you go. Nice break into the zone. Palmieri with the one T, and we finally score our goal. Palmieri with his debut as well, making it one to nothing for our pack squads team. And oh man, that's a huge goal with only 14 minutes left in the third period. Man, he's just player locked on that left wing. You can see right now he's not actually taking the face off, but very very tough game so far. Just cannot get many chances. Let's try to get another one. Another goal by Brassard back to back, making it two to nothing. Crushing his dreams right now. That's how I like to do it. Two to nothing. Let's keep it up. Oh, big save by Mayer. I, I, I definitely thought that was going in, but Okposo just fanned on the shot, and Mayer with standing tall for us right now. That was a huge save. Got three shots on net. Mayer, one save, two save. All right, anyways, big save. Let's keep going. Oh, what a pass. Wow. The AI does all the work for him. And uh, who was that? Kuznetsov that scored that goal? Oh, man. He makes it 2-1 to one with only 2 minutes left. We got to play solid defensively. We can't take the foot off the gas pedal right now. Let's keep going. There you go. Hold it off. And there it is, guys. There is our 5-game win streak. And that was a pretty tough game because we were just playing against AI the whole time. But uh, anyways, we get the win. We'll take a look at the stats before we uh, go ahead and buy that pack. 
All right, so let's take a quick look at the stats here. 15 to 11 in shots. 11 minutes, time on attack to 3 minutes, so we definitely outplayed him. The three stars, Broussard, Palmieri, and Nelson. Broussard and Palmieri scored some pretty big goals for us, back-to-back, uh, -back, which got us the win. So that was pretty nice for the, uh, Palmieri's debut. But anyways, let's go ahead and buy that special pack. I'll meet you guys in there. All right, guys, so we're in the store now, and I have given it some thought. I think I'm going to be opening just a Team of the Year Jumbo Pack, this 75,000 coin one. I think the 150,000 coin one is a little bit too much, and the 25,000 coin one is just a little bit too little because a 5-game win streak is equivalent to opening up 37,000 coins for the pack. So I think the Team of the Year Jumbo Pack is right in the middle. So we'll open this pack up. We get 9 gold rare players and 3 prospects of a Team of the Year collectible. I might, you know, kind of build up the collectibles and maybe we can get like a Team of the Year on the team. Who knows, but let's go ahead and open up this pack. Let's see what players we can get. The offensive team of the year is out as well, but we're going to skip it. We're going to get a couple good players there right off the bat. Demirs, Yandel, good defenders. Devon Smith, Pelly, Colton Pareko, Dominic Moore, Brandon Dubinsky. Those guys are all going to help out this team. Uh, Miko Rantanen, uh, Mike Smith. There is our goalie, our first gold goalie in our uh, team. That's going to help a lot. Mikhail Bodker. Justin Abdelkader, Brendan Gallagher, a lot of good players, and we have a backup goalie as well. So this pack wasn't the greatest, we didn't get any 88 overalls, but we did get a lot of depth players, as well as a couple good goaltenders that I can definitely use on this team. So let's go ahead, send all this to my collection, I'll meet you guys back at the team. Okay guys, so after about 20 minutes of rearranging, we are finally able to build this team, and I'll quickly run through it just to show you guys what we have built. But on the first line, we got Miko Rantanen, Jason Spezza, and Mikkel Bodker on that first line. That is a very dangerous lineup, in my opinion, heading into the next game, so we'll definitely have to look out for that lineup. On the second, we got Brendan Gallagher, Brendan Dubinsky, and Justin Abdelkader. Also a very strong lineup, in my opinion, as well. On the third, we got Jaden Schwartz. Dominic Moore, the face-off guy, as well as Brayden Shen on that third line. Uh, Devon smith Pelly, Ben Smith replacing David Steckel, unfortunately, and Derek Broussard on that fourth line. Uh, our lowest overall right now in our offensive lineup is now 85. So heading into the next few episodes of the pack squads, it's going to be very competitive. And hopefully this team will bring us some more wins for sure. So not only is our offense a lot better, but our defense as well. Keith Yandel and Colton Pareko on that first line pairing, replacing uh, Nicholas Cronwell and... I think it was Jonas Brodin who was on that first line. But now we have Jonas Brodin and Demirs on that second. And we have Nicholas Cronwell and Michael Roosevelt on that third line. And the reason why I have Michael Roosevelt is in there is because he actually completes our first synergy in pack squads. You can see right now we have the Unstoppable Force synergy, which gives all those players a plus two bonus to aggression, strength, wrist shot power, and slap shot power. So we'll definitely have to see how Rantanen, Spezza, Yandel, and Roosevelt play in the next game. They should be a little bit better than their cards actually say. So anyways, that is how our defense is looking like. Go on to our head coach. I did put an Igor Skewin in there. We're almost close to finishing that LB synergy. And we also have our new goaltenders, Mike Smith and Dustin Dakarsi. A huge upgrade from those silver guys, Mayer, and uh, I think it was Appleby in that as well. So Mike Smith, Dakarski, they will hold down the four for us, hopefully. So let's see how this team performs in the next game of Pack Quads. Let's get right into it. I'll meet you guys in there. All right, here we go, guys. Facing a New Jersey fan. He's got a pretty good team. He's got Kessel, Getzlaff, and Palat on his first line, but we got a lot of good debut for our players as well. So we're going to see how our team plays. Mikkel Bodker. Look at that speed. Oh my goodness. Spezza. 40 seconds in. Is he going to rage quit? I don't know, but oh man. Right off the bat, our first line capitalizes. Mikkel Bodker adds a little bit of speed to that first line. We can make it one to nothing. Let's keep going. All right, we got to play solid defensively. He's got some uh, pressure on us. There you go. Good poke to Brodeen. Headman the puck to Abdelkader. Sauce it over to Gallagher. Shoot. Oh, Pavlik makes a big save on us, but... Good chance there. There you go, Spezza. Nice face-off win. Michael Vodker, the second, well, second point for him this game. And he is just absolutely lighting it up for us in his debut. That is a big goal. Making it 2 to nothing in the first period. Schwartz still has the puck. Back down low. We'll trick him out there. Hold on to the puck. There you go. Shen's got the puck in front. Oh, Dominic Moore almost scoring one there. Try to get the puck back. Nice. Our team is already feeling a lot better in this game for sure. Alright, let's cut in. Get 
Get a slap shot on net and post and in. I think that was Nicholas Cromwell with that absolute bomb. And he makes it three to nothing. Oh man, can we get a rage quit? This is like a pretty dominant first period and he just might. I don't know. He hasn't got a single shot on net as well. Eight and own shots. Yeah, there is the rage quit. And there it is, our six game win streak. Our team has gone so much better after that pack. I can already feel it. Our top three lines is uh, just dominant. But anyways, let's go ahead and go, go and buy our packs right now. I'll meet you guys in the store. Okay guys, so we're in the store now and we're going to go ahead and buy the packs. And because we're on a six game win streak now, we can buy a total of six 7,500 packs or the equivalent of three 15k packs. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be opening up two of these gold plus packs and one of these series two expansion plus packs. And uh, that should add up to the six game win streak. So let's go ahead, open up our packs and let's see what we get. And hopefully we can get some more players to add onto the team. And uh, hopefully we can pull one of those team of the year players. I don't know. We never know. Jonas Gustafsson, Marcus Granlin. I don't think I could use any of those guys right now. But the rare gold players, maybe. Tra Travis Zajac is not a bad player. Josh Georges. Jack Johnson is a pretty good defender as well. So there is our first pack. We'll send those guys to the collection. And maybe we can actually might just be able to build our team with some new synergies. I don't know yet, but let's open up our second gold plus pack and we'll save the series two expansion pla uh, pack for last. So let's get this opened up and we'll skip again. And we're going to get anti Niemi. So not a bad goaltender. Uh, what else do we have in here? Jimmy Howard. So another t two goalies. We have a coach as well, which might be in handy for some synergies, but let's send those to the collection and go ahead and open up our final series two expansion plus pack. So we can get something good here. Alright, let's get this opened up. And uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. Just any good high overall players. Something in the 88. 87 is not bad. Nick Bugstad, that is definitely not terrible. And Simon Desprey is our second rare player. So everything else in this pack shouldn't be too useful. But yeah, bunch of uh, nobodies there. So we'll go ahead, send those to our collection. And we'll go ahead and build our team. Okay guys, so before wrapping up this episode, I'm just going to quickly go through the team and show you guys what I've built because our team has gotten a lot better since you know the last couple games or so. But first of all, on our first line, we got Miko Rantanen, uh, Jason Spezza, and Mikhail Bodker. On the second, we have Brendan Gallagher, Brendan Dubinsky, and on the second line left wing spot, we have added in Nick Bugstad in there, which is going to add a lot of, I guess, skill and speed into that second line. Uh, third, we got Jaden Schwartz, Dominic Moore, and Devon smith Pelly. And on the fourth, we have Pekarinen, Ben Smith, and Justin Abdelkader. And Pekarinen does complete a synergy. He does complete the immovable object synergy, which I will talk about in just a little bit. But moving on to the defense, we have Keith Yandel, Colton Pareko, Jason Demers, and I did have to replace uh, Brodeen for Simon Despre, and uh, I, it's because he does complete a synergy, and I'll quickly go through it right now, I guess. But the immovable object synergy, uh, those three players, Gallagher, Bukestad, and Pakarinen, uh, all get a nice little plus three bonus to durability, balance, endurance, and poise. And we did complete the Wrecking Crew synergy as well. Uh, Devon Smith, Pelly, Despray, Tikarski, and Robert Norris have all given every single player on the team a plus three bonus to acceleration, balance, body checking, and strength. So our team is a lot better heading into our next game, which I will continue in the next episode. I thought I would play another game, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep the suspense going and just kind of keep pumping out more episodes so I can open up some more packs as well. But uh, Nicholas Cromwell and Michael Roosevelt on that third line as well. So synergies are starting to happen, which is really nice. That is pretty much it for this team update. Our team is getting a lot better in pack squads, which I'm really happy about. And hopefully, once we get into the higher divisions, we can win some more games. Keep upgrading this team and hopefully pick up some more special cards or team of the year cards or something like that and make this team even better once we head into Division 1. So that's about it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a like if you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. another one because we do have four collectibles but we do have this team of the year premium reward pack. Let's see if we can pull one of these good team of the year. I don't want any of those bronze or silver ones. I want more of the gold ones, alright? Let's get this opened up. Come on. Here it comes. Here it comes.